Hello there, Redland.farm again. And I'm gonna do a quick little video on some of the stuff we do for the chicken waters because we put all these kind of pools out and these waters out. But within an hour, you know, the ducks get in there and they get them all dirty. And they get dirtier than that. We just washed that a couple hours ago. So we got a couple of these uh, waters up here the, with the chicken nipples. And um, the good thing about this is you can put some of the, we like to give them, this is some new stuff I'm trying. I used to do that Bragg's, but it gets more expensive. This was at Sam's Club. It's uh, organic apple cider vinegar. And the one thing it doesn't say is raw. So I don't know, we still put a little bit. It helps keep the water clean and it's supposed to be good for the chicken's digestion and their, uh, I don't know, I think it's supposed to help with parasites too, like worms and whatnot. So sometimes I'll put like an ounce per gallon. This time I'm only gonna do uh, maybe a half an ounce per gallon. But uh, I just, this holds about 50, 55 gallons. And I'll put half of that in there, a little more than half. And I got a couple buckets that I have the water nipples. Let me show them if they don't know what a ch chicken nipple is, a water nipple. Watch your step there. We just put this in our main feed area because this is where they hang out, but it's afternoon. So you see, they, they peck on that. You want it to where it, it's high enough that they can extend their neck. They don't like to, they get a better, so scoot back and get more of a side. But you know, they peck on that and they get the water. And I just kind of rigged it. I put a little sealant. I don't know, it's been holding them for half a year. You could really get a good bulkhead with uh, seal on both sides. And if I was really gonna do it nice, I'd put a valve on the end, a three quarter, well, this is a three quarter inch pipe. You could do, probably better to do a little thicker, but you could put a valve and then you could clean it out every so often. But you're always gonna have the stuff on the bottom. So I just manhandle it and pick it up and dump it over when it gets real low. and. It's, but I, I do that like once a year if that. This helps keep it clean. Oh, and if you put the top on, if the sun, if it's like a, a white bucket, that's when it might grow algae and then you're gonna have trouble. So I just fill it up and then we just put this cap on real loose and it's been working pretty good. Make sure you get a food grade bucket, not something that they've had some kind of chemical in. And uh, that's one thing about the chicken water. Very important for the chickens, especially it's so hot and humid down here in Miami that we really gotta be on the water because we got all these ducks and they, first thing they do is they poop and they jump in and get mud all in all the, we got like 12 pools and it's a lot of work. This thing, you can fill this up once every two weeks and it's pretty much going. So you like that water, Logan? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I don't recommend you let the kids drink out of it, but the chickens is good stuff. No, it wouldn't be good for the ducks. They still, their beaks are different. They also have these little cups that you can use, but those get broke too easy for us. It's just, we gotta have more durable stuff. So anyway, apple cider vinegar, good for the chicken water. And uh, we'll do more videos soon. Let me say, how Pancho say bye to you, cause he's standing right here. Hey Pancho, can you say bye? Gobble for me. He's, he's quiet. All right. Bye. Thank you.